Welcome back and welcome if you're new. And if you are new, my name is Natisha. I'm a vintage reseller and I go out thrifting for vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, flea markets, Facebook marketplace, my booth that I now have in Rostern. So if that is something that you are interested in, be sure to subscribe. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a vlog and I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of reseller life and my own personal life. And it's going to actually go into two days because tomorrow I'm going to go to my vintage booth out in Rostern and do some rearranging and restocking. So I'm going to share that with you all. Today is just going to be a little bit of personal stuff and I've also got three packages that I need to ship out today. I had three sales on Etsy yesterday. So I'm going to wrap those up and ship them out today and I will share those sales with you as well. So that's the plan for today. So these are the three items that I sold on Etsy. I sold this vase and I picked this up this summer in Edmonton and I think I paid about 20 or 25 for it. I did pay up for it, but I did make a pretty good profit and I will put that in the video so you know how much profit I made. I picked this beautiful wood bowl up at a private pick and I think I paid around $10 for it. And these two cappuccino cups or espresso cups, um, I picked those up in a thrift store for $2.99 or $3.99. I can't remember exactly. I didn't get that on a video, so I don't remember exactly what I paid for those, but those sold as well. So I'm going to wrap these up and get them ready to ship out. So I am at the Shoppers Drug Mart. It has a Canada Post inside. So I'm gonna drop these packages off and then I'm gonna head over to Village Green MCC Thrift Store and see if I can find myself a new winter jacket and a pair of boots. It's a lovely snowy day today. If they have any sales. Yellow tags, 50% off. Yellow tag clothing, a dollar, excluding outerwear. And all housewares and home decor, 50% off. Well, let's have a quick look in there vintage section and see what I can find, if anything. <laughs> That's a really nice cake pan, $10. It's in really nice condition. Well, I could put that in my booth. I'll grab that. See some silhouette pictures here. How much are those? Eight dollars each. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to pay eight dollars each? Yeah, I think so. I think I can at least double my money on those at the very least so I will grab those all right I found the jackets and these are large that's too big I think these are small These, I think, are medium, so they're too big. All right, well, I'm not having too much luck here. I'm gonna go have a look over in the art on the other side there. So I guess it would be 50% off. Let's see if there needs vintage frames. That one is vintage. Let's 
three dollars. I think that would be a dollar fifty. Maybe. It's kind of loose, but it just needs a piece of cardboard or something to secure it. one made in Hong Kong it's got a nice mid-century look to it I like to buy frames and then put just prints from from books inside of them to sell the frame. It's easier to sell a frame with a print inside of it than on its own. That one's in nice condition. So I'm thinking these will each be a dollar fifty. Yes. Assuming they're considered home decor and housewares. Just found this one, so it would be 50 cents. Pretty cute. So I just asked one of the ladies working about the sweaters and she said one person donated two big, huge garbage bags full of these sweaters, all these sweaters. And they're all like brand new. This one's made in Norway. This one's made in Ireland, hand loomed in Ireland. This one's really pretty. They're $50 each, so they're a little more than I can spend for, for resale, and they all look a little bit too big for me. Although this one's not terrible. really nice sweaters. This one is British knitwear. Really nice. So my total was $31. I did not find a jacket or boots and it's snowing like crazy. <laughs> so I really need a snow brush. I had a snow brush in this vehicle all summer spring, fall, right up till I needed it. <laughs> and now I don't know where it is. So I need to find a snow brush. So I'm going to go to Dollarama. I'm going to see if they maybe have a decent one there, hopefully. And I have a few things that I need to pick up there. So that's where I'm headed to next. You can see all the traffic. It's very busy right now. <laughs> I don't want to be driving in that and the snow is blowing, it's really cold, there's nobody here, the parking lot is empty, so I'm just going to hang out in here for a while. I think I spotted snow brushes, there we go. That's a nice long one. It'll work, four dollars. Grab that. Should actually grab a bag of this for our steps. Icebreaker. Oh, that's, oh, it's pet safe. I don't have any pets, but you never know. There may be a cat or two that decides to come onto my steps. That's happened before. Um, 
How much is this? I think it's four seventy-five. Grab a bag of that. I need some toothpaste. I don't see any of the kind that I usually use. And that is Burt's Bees. Once in a while they have it here, but they do not have it today. So I think I'll grab just a box of the Arm & Hammer toothpaste. I'm gonna grab a pair of these cozy feather socks for $3.50 for two pairs. I like wearing these around the house. And I need some oat milk. And I'm gonna grab some tissue paper. Grab four of these. I don't think there's anything else I need, but I'm gonna have a look around and see. I'm gonna grab cinnamon raisin bread. It's weird, I don't like raisins, but I really like cinnamon raisin toast. So I think that's everything I'm gonna pick up here. So it is the next day. It snowed all night long. There is a ton of snow out there and it is very cold. But I checked the highway hotlines and the highways are good, so I'm still gonna head out to Rostern today. And I have a box of stuff that I'm gonna bring out and do some rearranging and restocking in my booth. So I will share that with you all. There's also a thrift store out there, so I'm gonna do a little bit of thrifting as well, but that'll probably be in another video. So I have to get all the snow off my vehicle Thank goodness for the new snow brush. <laughs> Warm it up, load it up, and then I'm gonna head out on the highway. So I'm just quickly stopping for gas, and then I'm gonna head out on the highway. The roads are not the best in the city, so I'm hoping they're better on the highway. arrived in Rostern. The highways were not too terrible. Lots of blowing snow, but I drove slow and got here safely. <laughs> so I'm at the MCC clothes basket. I'm going to go in and do a quick thrifting video before I stop at my booth at Backwen Market. And that is just down the street. So I will probably insert just a little bit of my thrifting video in here and then I will see you at Backwen Market. I just noticed a vintage chocolate box. These can be worth really great money, especially when they're quilted like this and they've got florals on them. One dollar. It's a Morse chocolate box. So definitely pick that up. I don't know if that'll go in my booth or online. Could probably get more online for that, but I might pop it in my booth. I have arrived at Backwind Market. I'm going to go in through the main doors, the front doors, and then I'm going to go through the back to bring my stuff up. So this is inside Backwind Market. Super cute little shop. All kinds of goodies. I'm probably going to have to do some shopping. Look at the beautiful chenille blanket. And so much adorable kitsch. <gasps> Ooh, those are cute.
Look at all the cuteness. Look at those. How much are those? $25.95. Adorable. And this is all the glass. Lots of beautiful glass. Some more adorable kitsch. And this is my booth. Had a few things sell. I had I think four purses here and I only have one purse left, so that's awesome. A couple little spaces. So I'm going to bring in my boxes and do a little bit of rearranging. There's lots of really cute kitsch over here in this booth. Adorable kitten with the fur. So much cuteness. Is the finished restocking and that took a lot longer than I thought <laughs> so it's good to go I think for another week or so then I'll come back out and do some more rearranging and add some stuff I forgot some glassware stemware so I have to bring that out I'll bring that out next week some red glasses. That looks pretty good, I think. So I'm on my way back to Saskatoon, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you 